Well, good morning, everybody. Another new report. This is like the 17th of February. And of course, I was attacked all night. They're slowly trying to murder me and they send people here. And they were telling me on that line, they were like showing me pictures from outside and telling me on my computer, they were there like right where the trees are down by the road and was that threatening murder. And as soon as I got to sleep, they started like attacking my lungs. And I didn't know because I was sleeping until I woke up. My throat was hurting because they were attacking like this area. But I had a, oh, I had a stinging all over burning. And I looked and my oxygen was 90. And then um, they were like wiping out the thyroid area. And at the same time, blinding my eyes and just killing me. And you know why I'm smiling? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, it's crazy because they said they wanted to try to um, bring us something out, you know, that I had this power. And, and I got messages that said Stephen King, John saw, only if it's true. And they would send me all these messages on Pinterest saying, you got telekinesis, lose your power, use your power. And they said that movie Frozen was based on this power. Well, that's, I didn't believe it. So when they were dropping my oxygen to 90, um, I... I, um, they told me that they, that they had like destroyed my mother's spirit and all this shit and that they put others in the rocks out there. They're, they're so, and there's this energy in those rocks. You can come by and just reach and grab your hand. Well, that's phenomenal. And I was really devastated about all that thinking, oh my God, humans can't have that power. These, these aren't human. And, and into the night and before I went to bed, it started storming. And I just said a prayer. And as soon as I prayed to God, everything I said and did, I was connected to him. Thunder, lightning, the wind. And it was the greatest phenomenal love that I've ever known. And God is so in love with me. And I'm so in love with him that he would respond instantly to everything I said with the wind, with thunder, with lightning. And it was phenomenal to be so loved. It was just phenomenal. And, uh, you know, anytime the governor or somebody knows you've got a power, that you could do anything through the greatest power, no. <laughs> of course, they're going to try to kill you. But they shouldn't have been experimenting around trying to put things in my brain. But I showed you the entities that are on this land. They're all over this land. And this is this is a work of the devil. It's the Antichrist that's trying to do this. And it's they kept sending me Justin Bretts when they were attacking me, thinking they were murdering me, smiling on there with threats with some of them in his in his town with a fishing rod and his boat, threats to come and get me, and they said, Damn me, kill me, and then somehow put my soul in the creek and then damn me. Well, I watched them try to do that with my dad. And then they would send me John Saw threats. And then they would send me the song like, um, what's it? It was something about, it's a song, but in the song, it's come back to them. <laughs> I never, I never dated him. I never was close to John Saw. He lives in another state. What they meant was they broke the hold on my brain to control my mind. And they controlled it for years. They broke it in so many ways, and they're freaked out because they said I had a power that they were using while they were connecting to me. And it's an energy, too. And plus, they feed off your energy. That's why they want all these babies and stuff. When the world is, when well, they're killing off older people, but they want the babies. They want the energy, the life force. But, you know, I'm blinder. I'm, they make me blinder. And my lungs hurt. And I've, I've been awake for about 10 minutes. When I first woke up, <coughs> I had this cough. And it's getting worse because they're wiping out the throat area and they're attacking the lungs. And that's why the oxygen's dropping. But to be this close to God and to know you've got the greatest love you ever could have. And he is so in love with me that he's just like so sensitive to my, that he can make the weather just respond so my thoughts, every question I asked him, 
finally I said, God, is Jesus up in heaven with you now? Did he go back up to you three different times? Lightning. Every time I ask the question, so Jesus is, is at home with his God and happy in heaven. And heaven is a great place. It is awesome. It's awesome. It's like I can feel so close to him. Like he's just this close. But yet, he, it's his thunder and stuff, he sounds far away. But it is, it's great. It's, if I could have acknowledged this gift when I was small. I noticed when I travel, he'd always show me where things were, tell me where things were without a mat. He's upset. He said, they stole so many years off my life that they need to stop and let me just go on and do travel and stuff. And he's like, they're awful. He looks back on the years. I said, well, why can't you stop them? Why didn't you stop them? He won't stop them. We get a free will, but yet he's he was letting me know he's very upset. They're monsters. They're crazy. They should never be trying to do this to me. I don't do anything to any of them. But evil and the devil has an obsession with anything that's of power or, or light. And no matter what I do, where I go, how, even being a slave for years, it's not satisfied. It wants to devour me and take away all the light I have in me. And But God's all-powerful. And one day with God this close... It's better in a lifetime with one of them without God.